Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the Basic Builder back with another episode of Kingdom of the Wild. So thank you guys for tuning in wherever you are in the world. I do greatly appreciate it. So without further ado, let's just jump down into the zoo and see what we have been up to. Uh, again, we're starting here out at the entrance of the zoo. As you can see, I have placed a ton of billboards uh, for the parking lot. We're going to just start there for the parking lot. Um, I am currently major work in progress here, uh, creating and working with Photoshop uh, to create a road system, parking lot system with the billboard. So um, I have started that process. I have not worked on that process since. But we will uh, be working on that and hopefully have a pretty decent parking lot here. Um, so continuing on here, um, nothing has changed on the front of the zoo. Uh, I just still love this entrance and uh, the restaurant um, and Bold's beautiful uh, entrance building here. So, um, so yeah, uh, as you saw in the last video of Kingdom of the Wild, we did the AMP robot from the movie Avatar Pandora. Um, this was just a fun little speed build video, so if you haven't uh, seen that, please uh, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, for that build. Um, I think it just it's a it was just a fun build in general. So, um, if you are new to the channel and to this series, I highly recommend going back and and watching it. But uh, short description: this is a heavily themed uh, jungle Pandora uh, alien world style um, park that um, you'll see just foliage everywhere. Um, it, it really and truly, it just started with the, the massive trees, um, with the, uh, um, tree houses right up there in the, in the limbs. So that's where it all started. Um, it has developed quite a bit recently and, uh, the, just the sight lines so far in this zoo has just been spectacular, um. I'm not going to lie. So let's continue on and uh, show you what we have been working on. So uh, moving on down, you do have a kind of a splat, uh, a split pathway here. Uh, you can either go down here, which is the main route, or we can branch off and go down this little pebble gravel area. So that's where we're going to head. Um, I do think. No, you know what? Let's not. Let's do get down in here and let's actually go down the main path here. So we haven't done this way in a while. So we're gonna go on down here and I am not in Tejid Cam, so bear with me here while I'm moving the camera around. Um, so you can see here, this was our last uh, build. We did the, uh, obviously we did the, the AMP robot speed build, um, but the main like buildings that we have put into this particular zoo has been this big featured restaurant building with a bunch of reptile habitat or exhibits in there. Um, I haven't touched it on the inside uh, yet. Um, we will be getting back to that. I have some really, really cool ideas that I kind of want to do with that. So uh, maybe we'll touch that in the next video. And then obviously over here um, where the path will come back uh, down and lead into the main area, is the Okapi habitat where we built the huge round slanted building that I, th I thought turned out really, really well. So uh, moving on, uh, we have our flamingos and then we're going to continue on. And this is where we start to get the new stuff. Um, and like I said, it is heavily, heavily th themed and foliage everywhere. So uh, I decided to bring in uh, another one of the, the robot statues, you know, pictures, people wanting to take pictures and all that. I think it's, it, it, it would just represent or uh, present a, a good photo opportunity. And speaking of photo opportunities, this bridge, I just can't get over how well it, it turned out. 
Um, I took some um, some inspiration from one of the bridges actually in the Pandora land at Animal Kingdom. Um, that's kind of what I used and kind of just ran with it. So I uh, hope y'all do like that. Um, so moving on down, you can see the details that I've kind of put in here. I actually use these uh, horns, I believe, from the uh base game for africa or something i don't know but um i wanted to use kind of like some bamboo twigs and whatnot oops excuse me um but the pieces just didn't kind of fit well and i wanted that you know the the curve right here um and so i figured i might as well use these since i already have the rope and all that on there so um, moving on, I, uh, just added some of these like little hanging medallions and decorations here off of those. And then, um, to light up the pathway and the bridge, I used some baskets with the Arctic, um, balls and just stuck some, uh, plants in there to kind of give it that, you know, Pandora vibe. So, uh, moving on down, we're going to move to the... Uh, left side so you you kind of got a great little view right here um, of just how thick the foliage is and all this we do have a staff pathway right here you know sometimes you can hide them sometimes you can't but you know at this point I didn't really want to I really wanted this bridge and it's just a good way for the staff to kind of move around back uh, a little bit backstage and, and hidden so uh, we are going to move on down uh, to uh, one of our new habitats, which is the saltwater crocodile habitat. Um, I wanted to really kind of sink the pathway down in here and um, really just kind of get down in here where you can you can see the crocs swimming in the water. I think that's just kind of cool. And I also really dug it down in the middle uh, and stuck some some foliage up underneath the water as well as putting one of the underwater feeders in there. So uh, we do have, I think, four crocs in here, if I'm not mistaken. So um, yeah, I think it just, it, it really turned out really well. So give you kind of an overview of the habitat itself. Uh, if you saw in the last episode, we built this um, industrial, um, Kind of garage pandora uh building style so i decided to carry it on over and i think it kind of fits really well uh obviously it's not functional but with the the garage door here you know it, it could be a way for transporting the animals in and out of the uh, habitat uh, even though we have a gate in boxes but either way um really kind of lined it off a little bit um actually a lot of it so lined it off uh, quite a bit with the uh, foliage and um, you know at first I did not have this bridge in here and I was like well crap I, you know the the keepers need to get over here and clean this place so I decided to to use these um, I believe these are the the pier pieces from the um, aquatic pack and I think it fits kind of you know kind of well in here and and nice. I did not want to put up a railing because I really, you know, when you're on a boat dock, there is no railing, period. So, um, so yeah, and then obviously over here, they kind of have their own little private area where they can kind of just hang out and float around in the water uh, without people really being on top and looking at them. So really the, and truly the main viewing area will be just down here in the front where you can kind of see all this. So uh, you just give them a little bit of privacy. I mean, they are crocs, so I guess they don't really care. But anyways, so moving on from there, we, let's see, did we do anything else? Uh, we kind of did. We uh, added quite a bit of foliage work right around these, uh, this transition into this new section. Um, so we added a whole bunch of rocks, uh, many different plants that I just thought looked kind of cool. Even though they may be tropical, may not be tropical. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? Uh, kind of just cleaned up the backstage here uh, for the, the staff pathing and all of that. And then obviously I added in some more trees uh, right here with some planters and some, some reeds and all that. So 
Um, moving on back down, let's go back down to the path view here and I'll show you the latest habitat that we built. So here it is. We have uh, continued, I guess on this right hand side uh, will kind of be like our Africa section uh, with the Okapi that are from the Congo. So I was looking through the Zoopedia catalog to see what other animals from Africa kind of live down into the Congo. And we have chosen the Western Lowland Gorillas. Um, so I think this may be our big boy. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see here. Nope, nope. That's just a big girl. Um... But we do have one male and four females in here, and I just can't get over the fact of how well this this came came together, really and truly. Um, kind of ignore what's off into the background. That will be part of the next episode as well. But we do have something really, really cool planned for that. Um, so, uh, yeah. So we did the Western Lowland Gorillas. I used um, this uh, blueprint that came from the workshop from, uh, let's see who it's from. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I, I want to make sure I, I credit everybody uh, of whose stuff. So uh, this is from, is it from Lucas? I don't know. Let me see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe it is. I think it is from Lucas. So um, please go get your hands on these, these these blueprints. Oh, nope. There it is. Yep, that's it. Let's let's take a look at it on the workshop. Make sure I credit the right person. Uh, yeah, oh, it is Lucas. So, <laughs> oh, I'm a little scattered everywhere. But, um, so yeah. So those are a, a great natural looking... Um, climbing mechanism uh climbing area i'm horrible at building them so when i when you know when i can use blueprints i'm going to use the blueprints so um so yeah so that's kind of what we have been working on um i do hope you enjoyed this particular episode i do have some very exciting things coming along with this zoo um so i do hope you stick around for the next episode and if you are new to the channel thank you again for stopping by and checking out what we are working on here um and also go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and uh go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well um because you know we're getting close to uh the the 300 subscriber mark and you know, I'd hope to hit that for my birthday coming up uh, at the end of June. So uh, if you do uh, like this video again, just go ahead, hit that subscribe button and uh, share it. Uh, share it with whomever you think may like it. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys. See you. Bye -bye.